Mr. Money Hustler here with another exciting episode of how to either make or save money, right? So my roommate recently hired a cleaning lady to come in and straighten up the house and she does great work on everything except loading the dishwasher. When you got dirty dishes, ideally scrape the food into some plastic container like this that you can seal up, you know, and keep a day's worth of uh, food scraps in here so that you can close it up, keep the flies off of it, and get it out the door um, into your trash without like leaving it in your regular kitchen trash can and stinking up the house for forever. Besides the food that goes in there, never put dirty dishes on the disposal side of your sink. This is the side of the sink that you use to scrape your scraps in, wash it down, keep it clean every time. Every time you wash something in here, wash all the food down and run the disposal. Uh, just a quick swirl. Another trick to help with keep the sink clean is give a little spot of uh, dishwashing soap on your spongy pad so it's always good and soapy whenever you're washing down the edges of your sink. Get it down to the disposal, leave the water running, turn the switch, whatever the switch is for the disposal, and get in the habit of doing that so that you keep the food out of your kitchen because if you have any kind of just the slightest little scrap of food, it's going to attract flies and gnats. So, pre-wash. If you have a good dishwasher that actually works, you don't have to, you know, scrape the big stuff off. You don't have to do much else except for two particular types of food that I've noticed. Avocado and eggs. Doesn't matter what form they're in, you have to use a sponge to wash all avocado and all egg off of both plates and diningware, forks, spoons, whatever. Those two items, the hot water, whatever it is, it just basically turns them into glue and you're gonna have that stuff stuck to your utensils when you pull it back out of the dishwasher. So, um, in the case of this dishwasher, it completely sucks. So, um, you know, we pretty much wash everything and then the only thing the dishwasher is used for is really to sterilize everything. So now let's take a look at the actual dishwasher so that you can see how it works and some just important things to keep in consideration when you're loading it. For starters, you have these wheels right here. These wheels actually pop off fairly easily. And if you ever lose one of them, they pop back on fairly easily too. Now, whoever operated this dishwasher was not observant when they uh, lost the two wheels on the front. Um, they never noticed, they swept them up, threw them away, whatever, they're just gone. The back ones popped off too. I, I was able to put those back on. Uh, it kind of catches in this groove right here. But if you lift the whole tray up gently, you can um, operate it with just the two wheels in the back, not too much of a problem. But notice, it flows in there nice and smooth. If you get it whopper jawed, crooked, and try to force it in, you're gonna have all kinds of problems. If, if you're careful with it, and gentle with it, even when it's full of dishes, if you push it, if there's any resistance at all, it just means some dishes are catching on some of these bars and, and features of the dishwasher. So pull it back out, Reorganize your dishes before you force anything. When you force stuff, that's how it gets broken. If you're just careful and observant, most of the pieces, even if they do get out of alignment, in the case up here, there's little rollers up here on the upper rack as well. They can pop off also. And if you're careful when you see it happen, snap them back in place. Um, these, uh, I don't know, I guess glide rails is what you would call them. They can get off these wheels inside here. Uh, they're, they sometimes they telescope and uh, they can get out of alignment and whatnot. If you're gentle with it, if you notice they're out of whack, fix it right then and there before you try to force the dishwasher around. So, main thing is dishwasher, everything flows in and out nice and smooth. Uh, if it doesn't for any reason, it just means you have something clogged or brought blocking the way. Some dishwashers have an upper spinner and a lower spinner. See down inside of here. Other uh, key feature of a dishwasher is it has this part that when the water comes on, this part extends upwards to squirt water to the upper thing. So you never want to put anything on top. If you have that feature, never put a dish on top blocking that little part. When the rack's in there, that little part comes up through the middle here. If you block that, your dishes are not going to get clean. 
Now let's go on to the utensil feature. So you got this, most dishwashers gonna have something like this. Make sure it's in there, right? The best way to get your dishes clean are gonna be to put the handle side down and the, the, the food side, the part that you actually eat with is gonna have all the foods stuck to it. Ah, you have an item that when you put it in, it's gonna go all the way through like this and stick out the bottom. What that's gonna do is that's gonna block spinning part from spinning and your dishes will not get clean so just be mindful of that if you have something like that and it goes all the way through the hole turn it the other way or figure out some other way to deal with it next item it's less critical for a dishwasher that has um, upper flow but generally you don't want to put anything that's going to block flow from the lower rack for the water coming up and hitting the, the cups and dishes in the upper rack. That's why typically bowls and glasses should go, and, and even small uh, saucepans should go on the upper rack, not the lower rack. Skillets work okay in the edges, and it's, it is better to keep them in the wider sections over here. Uh, just don't put skillets in like that. Imagine the water coming up from the bottom going through the top and some of you may be like okay of course that's common sense but some people don't get it so <laughs> the water is flowing from the bottom up and anything that blocks the flow of the water is going to keep your dishes from getting clean so plates this is the funniest thing that i've seen lately some people get in a hurry and they'll stuff their uh this is, i'm trying to find a good spot you know they'll just stuff plates in something like that right and so you have both faces of the plate facing each other and it seal it prevents the water imagine the water flowing up from the bottom can you can you see how no water is going to get to the inside surface of the plate where they're really dirty so all plates always need to be arranged so that they're facing the same direction and uh, in this way the con you know the contours of the plates overlap and so it doesn't block the flow of water. The, uh, the food part of the plate is always exposed to the little jets of water. Bowls, you can load bowls. Uh, they do have sections that are wide enough. The bowls on the bottom should always be lo loaded sideways so they don't block the flow of water going up. Of course, in general, whenever possible, you don't wanna put um, glasses on the bottom tray. Although sometimes we have some uh, items that are just too tall to put in the in the upper tray and so uh, just keep it to a minimum you know one or two items in a section that's not gonna block all the flow to the cups on top upper sections like I say it's preferred for bowls and again the dirtiest part of the dish needs to be facing that and just imagine these jets of water coming up from the bottom mostly coming up from the bottom you want to expose the dirty parts of the plate to the jets of the water if you have stuff piled on top of each other, it's not going to get clean. Like, for example, that, that bowl is going to be blocking the flow of water to half that plate. One person we had come in and load the dishwasher, they had just stack the plates in there on top, like that, and then just threw a handful of silver on top like that. <laughs> it was like, how's that plate supposed to get clean? It's not going to get clean. See, even that right there, just the way the wires are stacked and whatever in, the, in this dishwasher, that's really too close together. That, that plate's not gonna get clean like that. So pull your tray out a little bit, figure out where you can put the plates, and even you can space them apart like that. If you have a smaller plate, throw the smaller plate up in, in between there. 